Hey fans, welcome back. I'm Adrian. Borja. We're here to introduce a sneak peek of our latest feature, Vase Breaker. This is our very first standalone minigame and a fan favorite. Let's get into it. In the UI, we've got an extra button specifically for Vase Breaker. When you tap that, you're gonna see the menu. The menu is gonna show you that we've got two new level packs, each with three levels. We've got endless mode and we've got three custom power-ups. Let's get into an intro level to show you how Vase Breaker works. In Vase Breaker, you will see different types of vases. Some brown, some green, and a suspicious looking purple one. To break a vase, you can tap on it and reveal its contents. Generally, you will get either plants or zombies, and the occasional plant food. Green vases are guaranteed to always have plants. My personal strategy is to start breaking the vases from the right side before I move on to the left. The purple vase is guaranteed to always have a gargantuar, so make sure that you're ready before you break that one. To complete a level, you have to break all the vases and the zombies inside them. For completing this level pack, we've earned a power-up. There are three power-ups that you can earn for your progress through the level packs or endless mode. Let's go into endless mode so we can get a demo of those three power-ups. In endless mode, the first power that I want to talk about is Vase Reveal. Vase Reveal lets you see the contents of a vase before you break it. To use it, you simply select the power-up and tap on the vase that you want to reveal. Once you destroy all the vases and the zombies inside them, you get the next wave. Your goal is to get as many waves as possible in a single game. My personal strategy is to use face reveal on the faces closest to my house. When you need some extra time, you can use the butter power-up. The butter power-up allows you to put a pot of butter on a zombie head and keep him in place for a few seconds. You can use that time to then strategize and place some plants to defeat that zombie. The next power-up is face move. This is really useful to, for example, move the gargantuar vase to a lane that you have really protected or, for instance, to move a vase further back on your lawn. You beat a level or wave of Vase Breaker by breaking all the vases and defeating all of the zombies. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our Vase Breaker demo. You got to see some of Borja's strategies. We'd love to see some of yours too, so send us your videos. See you next time. Bye.